So let's say the, the first thing which I'm going to do is actually to calculate the earthwork. Okay, you can say excavation and let me just label as one. And then I'm going to say the earthwork or maybe you can say excavation. It's your work, you can just have anything in description. Now, in earthwork, as you can see, we have abutment and then wing wall. So I would say that first I'm going to calculate abutments uh, excavation and then I will look into the wing walls. Now, in number, abutment is one, wing walls are two. How? You can just see it, okay? Wing walls, these are actually two. One is this one, another one is this one. Now, abutment, which is this one, and that's actually one only. The excavation length, if you remember, uh, we have already discussed these things in, in very first, uh, third, or maybe four, uh, three, or maybe four lectures, that the excavation length is somehow very different, okay? Now, the abutment length, as you can see, this is 20 feet, which is already just mentioned were there. From this, let me just draw a rectangle so you guys can see it. You can see this one, okay? It's almost like this thing. So this is, if you look to in top, this is actually two feet wide and uh, the length is just 20. However, we will just have excavation till this point, till you can say, let me just drag this thing so you can see that, okay? Excavation length can be up to this. That means we have to add two feet, which is actually, if you see, this is two feet, okay? And let me just label it so you guys can confirm it and can be very easy, okay, for you. So this is actually two feet. And this is, you can see it, it is just two, okay? So what should be the length of excavation for the same uh, abutment? It can be actually 20 feet, and then two feet for one side and two feet for another side. You can see these two things, okay? And then here we have two steps extra, and two steps the other side, okay? It means if I can directly say the length of the abutment uh, for the excavation can be 26. Now, how 26, that's the point which should be cleared over here. So 26, I'm gonna write this thing in the remas, but before writing this in remas, let me just make you understand, and I want you guys to uh, confirm it, okay? Now, just look at over here. I'm gonna say, let me just uh, have some uh, maybe dimensions, okay? Now, look at this, this is 20, and from this, as you can see, we're gonna add two for one side, and two for another side, okay? Now, next, I'm gonna add these two steps, okay? Which are actually, you can see, this is one feet, it means six inches, one step and six inches, another step. And to the other side, which is actually one feet, it means six inches to one step and six to another step. Now, the total is actually 20 and two for other another side, and two for this side, actually, it, it means 24, one fit this one, 25, and one fit this one, which is 26. What do you guys say? Okay, so it is actually, if if you are a little bit good with drawings, so you can do that. However, if you are not that good in drawing, you cannot read these things, the plans, maybe, okay, sections, elevations. Then, if you remember, I have already told you a formula okay about a formula it, it is actually you have to subtract the weight of the wall which is two feet from this okay from the weight of the foundation so it means four minus two this is actually two and then you have to actually uh add this with the the length which is 20 plus 2 plus 2 24 so 24 plus 2 that's gonna be 26 okay i'm gonna write this thing over here like maybe what is 26 okay so it is actually the same thing like 20, we have just added two feet for the wing walls, okay, for one side, two feet for another side. And then if you remember, we have added uh, one feet, okay, for one side, for, for you can say for two steps and one feet for another two steps. What do you guys say? And in the weight, actually, this is simple. Weight is very simple. You can see the yeah. weight can be from this point till this one which is four feet. And if you cannot just count this, you can see it in the section as well. The weight of foundation, which is four. So you can put four over here. And now another thing, which is actually height. And this is actually the, the height of excavation. And where we do actually excavate and for, from which level we actually excavate, it is actually the ground level. 
So we have to count all these heights below the ground level, which is actually one feet and two feet and then two feet, which is actually five feet, okay, total. So we have five who are here. Now, the, the quantity can be actually, we have to multiply these things, okay? You can say the the, the number, the length, the breadth, uh, then the height, which is actually the quantity, very simple, okay? So the number, the length, the width, uh, and then actually the height, which is F4, okay? So I'm gonna multiply that F4 as well. So 520, and I'm gonna just enter another column over here, so we can have, uh, for unit, okay? Maybe let's say units. And this is going to be N CFT or maybe cubic feet. So we have quantity, which is 520. Now let's talk about the wing wall. Now I'm gonna say the length can be six feet, how? That's gonna be very simple. You can see it, okay? We have six feet is the uh, the length of the wing wall, okay? Now, the total length of the wing wall that is actually six feet, you can see it, it, it in, in the diagram, okay? But this is actually from this point till this. Why are not we actually adding this portion, which is, you can say two feet, uh, sorry, one feet, because one is six inches and another step is six inches. Why are not we taking seven feet as the length of the wing wall, you can say? And, and this is actually because, okay, let me just say, I'm not taking this portion because this portion is already taken over here with the abutment, what we say, these two steps are taken from the wing wall. So if we add these two, it means we can subtract those two. Very simple. So actually it is the same thing, okay, from, from this point, okay, from this point till this point. So it is the same thing as six feet, okay? We are not counting this one, okay, actually? So it means six. Now, of course, the the the, the weight of foundation, it is the same, which is four. The height is the same. And uh, we can actually drag the formula just like that, okay? So this is the, the quantity. Now, total can be actually the summation of the above two. So we can say the total quantity may be you can even, uh, and actually you should highlight these things, okay? And I'm gonna remove that one, so we can have yellow. So so this is one thing which is been covered. Now, next, what we're gonna do is actually to determine the concrete work, and why I'm deciding concrete work, because in the section, we have excavation, and then over here we have concrete one work actually, which is 136. So let's say concrete work, now, the concrete one work actually can be the same for both, okay? Uh, uh, and you can say in depth and then in width. The length can be different, of course. So we're gonna calculate this for the abutment and then wing wall. Remember, abutment this time is one, wing walls are two, okay? And the length of abutment, it can be the same. Why the same, actually? If you see the foundation width, it was just four feet. Now, the concrete work, it is also four feet wide. That means the length of both uh, quantities or maybe both elements is just the same thing. This is the reason I'm gonna say that the length of the uh, abutment for earthwork is the same thing as the length of the abutment for concrete work, okay? And this is the same thing for the wing walls. Now next, actually the the, the, the width or maybe the, the breadth, it is the same thing, okay, in PCC, you can see that, so it's gonna be four. However, the height for both, it is just something which is different, okay? We actually take the, the height or maybe the depth of earthwork from the ground level. This time, actually, the concrete is only two feet, if you see that. So the height is just two feet and two feet for the wing wall as well. Now, I'm gonna just copy the formula over here and we have to just paste it and then Let's just drag this formula below. Now, we will actually sum the about to, which is CFT, okay? 304 CFT. That means this is the total. Let me just copy this thing and paste it over here. So it is the total, maybe PCC or concrete work, okay, for abutment and wing wall. And let me just share these as well. Okay, it's very simple. 